Hello, hello, friends. So this morning, it's actually super early this morning. It's only 6.30. It's 6.22, actually, and I'm getting it in. Early bird gets the worm. That's from what I've been told. Anyways, what are we doing? We're going to write the max method in Ruby from scratch in at least two ways. We're going to test our ways using benchmark to find which one is faster and we'll use TDD through the whole thing. So let's talk real quick about what the max method is. Let's say you have an array, and we'll just go array.new, and we'll just do 100 characters, and then we'll just make it random values, so we'll just go rand, anywhere from 100. And then let's just PR right here and take a look at it. Let's go into terminal, and uh, let's get this off here. And let's run that. So this is our array that that generates. So what we want to do is if we go into IRB real quick, if we do the same thing here, we'll just go r equals array dot new, and we'll do 100, and we'll do rand anywhere in 100. So it generates that array right there. Right? So there's our array. So what um, max does is when you do r.max, it's a built-in Ruby method. What it does, it takes the largest number from that array. Uh, obviously, the largest number in this array is 99. So what we want to do is build something that's a little bit, if we can make it faster than the built-in max array method, then we'll be doing good. So that's our, that's our plan. And we're going to use TDD and uh, benchmark. Now, if you've never worked with benchmark before, I'll show you how to uh, require it. I have two cursors going. I'll show you how to require it. Require, uh, we're going to be using our spec and we'll require a uh, benchmark. Um, okay, so we have our array. And what benchmark does is it basically tests how fast uh, a method or algorithm is working. So let's try to figure out how, how we're going to do this. Let's say that we have an array of just a few numbers. One, two, three, four, and five. And then we'll do four, three, two, one, right? So conventional thinking will say what we want to do is pull the largest number out of this array right here. So there are two main ways to tackle this problem. Uh, I mean, there are many ways, but the two ones in my research that I found that have been kind of the most widely accepted. Uh, one will be, uh, let's take, let's just comment this out for one second. Let's set this to R. And then, um, so this is one way, R.sort, using the dot .sort method, and then dot .last. That's one solution. Okay, so what this does is, let's go into IRB real quick. Uh, let's see what A is, R. Okay, so we have our array still R. So if we go R.sort, it's going to sort the array for us. Okay, cool. So it's always going to push the biggest number to the end. So you should go R.sort.last. And that works. It gives us 99. But that's actually fairly slow. It's actually a terrible impl implementation because if you think about it, if you have an array with 100 numbers like we do right here, it can do that pretty fast. What it has to do, it has to go through each number, compare them, and run iterate through this entire array, and then it has, to, it has to sort it first. So it has to go through many computations to sort this array. Then it has to pick the la it has to pop the last number off the end. Okay, that seems like a lot. We could probably get that faster somehow. So we'll leave this right here, and we'll just put a comment here. Uh, this is the uh, sorted way. So let's try to do something else here. Let's try to make an actual method. Uh, and we'll just call it new max. And we'll pass in an array of elements. And so since we have that new max method that we're building, might as well do our R script, R spec thing. Describe new max method do end and then 
it returns the largest element in a given array. Then we'll um, we'll choose a test array here, and we'll just keep it simple: one, two, three, four, three, two, six. And we'll go expect new max test passed in dot two eq. What is the largest number six? Okay, cool. So let's run this just to make sure everything's going good. Uh, our spec was it four at max value? Okay, cool. So we expected six got nil. Uh, and so that's exactly what we thought. We've got a failure. So that's basic TDD. You got to write out the test, make them fail, then make them pass. So with this new max array right here, how are we going to do this? What we want to do is go through, and let me get rid of this array right here. And let me comment this out, actually. Get rid of this. Comment this out. What we're going to want to do is we're going to want to. Um, let's go on IRB. Let's do R equals array dot new ten uh, rand ten. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to our basic implementation will be we'll set a max value at zero starting out. Then we'll go we'll iterate over each element in the array one time and we'll ask the test if max value it, I'm sorry if I is greater than max value then max value becomes I so is 2 greater than 0 yes so now 2 becomes max value is 2 greater than 3 no so now 3 becomes max value uh, I'm sorry 3 is greater than 2 so now 3 becomes a max value is 0 greater than 3 no so 3 still is the max value and it'll run through this array. It will only have to run through it one time in order to get the same answer. So it'll be a lot faster, I think. So let's set up that max value for a variable. We'll set that equal to zero. And then we'll go um, array of elements dot each do. And we'll set that equal to i. In that real quick, we'll go if max or wait if i is greater than max value right then max value equals i so it will turn it into max value right put it in there then we'll just return uh, max value down here okay so this should work as it is. So let's run our test and see if it will work. Max, uh, new max, new max. Yeah, this should all work, I think. Um, our spec. Okay, one example, zero failures. So this is working as it is right now, and that's fine. But what we're wanting to do is get the quickest one, and I wanted to show you how to use benchmark. So let's comment out our test. Everything's working right now. And let's try to use benchmark here real quick. So this is how you would test with benchmark. You just benchmark.bm, and then put a 10 in here, do x, and then what you want to do is go x.report. And the first one that we're going to do is the one that we built. And that's the uh, each way of doing it. We'll go each, and that will be new, pass in the method name, new max, and we'll pass in that r up at the top because in sitting lexically, we still have this r variable up here, which is a random array, which is fine. Then we'll also compare it to the uh, sort, sorted way that we found to solve the problem. And we want to compare these two for speed, so that will be r.sort.last. Right? Okay. 
so with our benchmark like that, we can just run Ruby 4.0. Okay, cool. And so for our each uh, way of solving it, it took this many seconds. For our sorted way, it took this one. So this one, the each is running at a slower time. I mean, extremely nominally slower, but still slower. So what would happen if instead of 100, we did that many? Uh, which is, how much is that? 100,000? Let's do a million. So let's do a million elements. And let's do them in between 1 and 1,000. So let's run this again, see if we get a bigger divergence. Yeah, for sure. So now you can see that the, the time is getting a, a little bit more up there, the difference in the two times. This one is actually running uh, faster than the sorted way. Let's add one more zero and see what happens. This should take a second. OK. So now you can see that basically the larger the array gets, the more disparity in time that there is in the two running. So the sorted method is running almost double to the each way that we wrote. Now here's something that will be interesting. Let's do an x.report in benchmark on the actual Ruby method of uh, the max method. So what we could do here is just go r.max to get that and let's compare all three. So it's going to take a second to run because it's going to have to run through all three of them. So ours is at five. Okay, cool. So in fact, ours that we built is actually running a little tiny, 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 minuscule amount faster than, uh, than the built-in Ruby uh, max method for the array class. So that's kind of cool. So this seems to be our fastest way with our, with our best implementation. So we can get rid of benchmark now. And we can get rid of it up here, save that, bring our test back in, bring it up a little bit, and get rid of this. And let's make sure that everything still passes. Four point max value. One example, zero failures. So this is the code that we wrote uh, that is actually faster than the built-in uh, Ruby max method. This is the test that we wrote to, to uh, test to make sure the implementation is fine. Here's our array that we were comparing it to and we wrote all the benchmark tests already. So this video ran a little bit long but I wanted to work in showing you guys how to use benchmark and to do uh, testing to see um, which kind of algorithms were a little bit faster. So um, yeah I hope it helped for sure. Take it easy. Man it's early. I'm I'm attacking the day like crazy. So, all right, you guys take it easy.